All right, guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in to another Facebook Live streaming broadcast here in Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage. I, as always, am your host, Christopher Reed. Uh, we're talking GPP, or General Physical Preparedness, Metabolic Conditioning Circuits, uh, Our one of our favorite circuits, which is known as the Breacher Circuit. So I got the idea for this circuit from a Arnold Schwarzenegger movie called Sabotage. In the movie, kick-ass, throwback, western-style movie, Schwarzenegger, our hero, plays a character called Breacher. Uh, that's his nickname. So when you guys see this circuit, you'll see that it could look like someone that's about like breach door kind of thing. There's a lot of like just general tasks going on uh, throughout the workout. Again, as always, with all of our tier two circuits, as per the Paul Check model, holistic healthcare practitioner, we're looking at covering off, pushing, pulling, flexing, extending, rotating, lunging, and squatting throughout the circuit. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about it as we go on. So, uh, I'm just gonna flip the camera around here. We got Bridget going through our breacher circuit. We're now doing the uh, sledgehammer strikes. So after our 40 sledgehammer strikes, what's gonna happen is we're gonna switch into our tire flips. So that'll be happening in a couple of minutes here. So we go sledgehammer strikes, then we're gonna go tire flips to the top of the gym here, then we're gonna run back down, we're gonna grab the sled, we're gonna pull the sled back, we're gonna run back down, grab the sledgehammer, run back up, and then we're going to do our uh, sledgehammer strikes and repeat the entire circuit. So you have a choice as to how much of a bastard you wanna be. You can choose to do 25 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, it doesn't matter, but the idea is that you're continuously moving throughout the entirety of the circuit. So tire flips, we got hip hinging motion, we got the squat going on, and of course the power of flipping the tire. So that's a way to get your metabolism revved up as we're flipping. And we're gonna run down to the opposite end of the gym, we're gonna grab the sled, and we're gonna drag the sled back. So with your sled medleys, you can choose variations of the sled that you want to use. You can go sled push, you can do sled drag, sled pull, you can do a groucho march back for the hamstrings, you can do a lateral drag, it doesn't matter. So this here is to simulate a body drag. So on the sled we've got about 135 pounds that Bridget's dragging back. For those power lifters that are watching, you want to make the sled about 55% of what your one rep max is. So now we're going to run back down, grab the sledgehammer, and again, just to reemphasize what I just said, for the power lifters in the viewership, you want to make sure that it's specific to your uh, actual squat. So you're going to make it 55% of what your one rep max is on squat, on your back squat. 55%. So we grab, we got the sledgehammer strikes, we got 40 of these, and again, with the sledgehammer strikes, the idea of running down, grabbing the sledge, and running back up is grabbing that breaching tool and being able to breach the door, break through the door. So we've got powerful strikes here coming down. Here we're working torso rotation. Now, as I had mentioned, there's tons of different variations that you can throw in here on your sled. So instead of pushing the sled down, you can put a harness on and you can bear crawl down with the sled dragging behind you. We'll put that variation up later on today. So you're gonna wanna come back, tune in again. I'll drop a video showing you different variations that you can do for the breacher circuit with the sled. So again, you can put a harness on, bear crawl with the sled, you can push down. And again, on the way back, as I had mentioned, you can either drag the sled, you can pull the sled, you can uh, groucho march with it for the hamstrings. I'll show you that variation. Uh, you can do lateral drags with it. You can high pull and drag it back. You can push the sled down the turf if you want using your upper body. It all depends on what you want to work on for yourself or with your clients. Um, what we like to do is try and cover off as many weak points as is possible with the circuit. So, for example, if your client has, you know, um, hamstring weaknesses, then we'll incorporate more groucho marks. If your client is, uh, or if you have issues with shoulders or uh, stability and strength in the shoulder girdle area, then we'll do more dragging, more pushing, more pulling, more upper body dominant exercises uh, or more upper body focused or centric movements in that regard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Breacher Circuit. Please like, share, or comment down below. Help us help you. Tell us how we can help you. Give some props to Bridget there. Look at that. Flipping fantastic, isn't it? So again, like, share, comment. Please spread the strength. As always, guys, deuces up, do the damn thing, and let's get stronger together. Thanks for tuning in.